We've been here 15 years. Um, we have approximately 45 acres of field. We have six different venues down there. And they range anywhere from a castle scenario to villages to huts to a little bit of everything. Now, the castle scenario is a center flag game. We uh, have the flag sitting on each side of the castle. Both teams need to go retrieve their flag, take it up to the top of the pole or the top of the castle and take it up the flagpole and keep it up there till the end of the game. Well, the village scenario has uh, two different sets of huts and there's actually a big hill in the middle. Uh, that field consists of approximately six acres and the idea is to get over to their village, steal their flag and bring it back to your village within 15 minutes. Fuel dump is where we have uh, some abandoned vehicles and a shack and stuff like that, some drums, 55 gallon drums. At that scenario, it's a center flag game. You start with your flag, you take it to the center flag, you raise it, then you have to keep it there till the end of the 15 minute game. If the enemy can come in and lower your flag down and raise theirs, they will have won if it's up at the end of 15 minutes. The speedball field is uh, just a man-made field. It's all man-made objects to hide behind. We try to keep it a mirrored image so no one has an advantage or disadvantage. And those are real quick games, like five minute games. Doesn't take long on a speedball field. Here at our facility, we have a second staging area that's right in the middle of the 45 acres. At that staging area, we can pull up there with our motor home and we do all of our sales into that area. Um, as you play the games, you'll go back to that one staging area. Inside that building, we don't allow any guns, any CO2, or anything like that inside that building to keep it a safety zone. As soon as you step out of the building, you are near the fields, so we make sure the goggles are on. We have 120 guns here on site that we can rent out. And with the gun, you'll get the gun, the air tank, the hopper, and a mask, a safety mask, and all the safety equipment you would need, a barrel plug, things like that. Uh, you can bring your own equipment, but there again, you need to have your own mask, your own barrel plug. Uh, if you bring all your own equipment in and you just need to buy our paint, it'd be a $5 green fee, we call it, and then you just buy our paint. We are a field paint only, so you have to buy the paint from us. Here we get uh, a wide range of people. We get uh, 10 year olds that are having birthday parties. We have a uh, caterpillar that comes in with a lot of their, uh, their people. The average player is probably about 20 to 25 years of age, but uh, we can go all the way down to 10 years of age and of course as high as the person wants to play. I know we've had some 70 year olds playing. <laughs> they like to guard the fort. They don't do much running. <laughs> The new people that, that really don't know much about paintball, we try to educate them on how to use the gun, the safety aspect of the goggles and the barrel plugs, that type of thing. Uh, we want to make sure that everybody knows what's happening when we get down on the field. We explain how the game is played, that it's a 15 minute scenario. Um, we have staff that's wearing orange shirts, and so anytime they have any kind of questions, they can get a hold of one of the staff members, one of the refs, and ask them. For the first time when you come out to play, you're going to be playing against people that other first time players and players that are regulars out here. They play two or three times a month. Um, our regulars, we get to know them by name and stuff, and we will divide them up, make sure they're equally on both teams. We don't want to guarantee any team's going to win, but we also want to make sure everybody's going to have fun. And so if we see that one team is really lopsided, we're going to want to rearrange our teams throughout the day to make sure everyone's having a good time. <laughs>